Hi, I'm Chef Najai Diggerson here at the Brenner's Fit Kitchen. All right, so you can either peel this carrot, depending on what your application is. Today we're gonna to peel it. So to get my peel, you wanna make nice long strokes like that. Make sure it go all the way to the end. <clears throat> and as you get better, you just kind of do something like this. Just kind of get it done a little bit faster. Now I'm gonna do my dice first. That's when I go and I wanna make four edges. One, two, three, and four. Now all I wanna do is make sure I'm nice and even. My hands are nice and firm. All right? So I pretty much wanna have some nice sticks here, okay? I could take those sticks and go even smaller. All right, depending on what my application is. So most of the time we use these cuts, these small brunoise cuts for like garnish or something like that. It'll, it'll be really nice to go on top of uh, to finish a salmon or to finish a entree item with. All right, so next thing we'll do, Cut them a little bit bigger. All right, so you'll have all those. And then this last one, we'll take and cut them really small. And that's when you have like your matchstick size. That's what you really want. We'll take those and make those really small. Okay. All right, so now I'll take them and I'll put those here so you can see that. And that's all that pretty much is. Um, now the round is a little bit different. When you take the half moon, you can take these and cut these up pretty easy too. Nice and smooth cuts will be my rounds, okay? Once again, these should be about the same size. You want about the same thickness. All right, now if I want to do a half moon, all I would have to do is cut these like just like this. Now I have a half moon. As you start to get familiar with the knife and you feel comfortable with it, it's just going to be second nature for you to tip heel. You know, you don't ever want to do one of these motions. It should always be tip heel. Okay.